lab 2 problem 2 so here we are having a network id 135.20.0.0 so number of subnets needed is 6 so we need 6 subnets so what is the concept here so 135.20.0.0 so this is going to be one network ok so this is a class b network so this network we have to divide into 6 ok we are going to divide this into 6 equal networks we are going to make from this ok subnets we are going to create so that is a concept ok now I am going to answer this problem so what is a class means this is class b so the default subnet mask for class b is 255 255 0 0 this is the default subnet mask so the CIDR value is slash 16 is the CIDR value ok now so number of subnets needed is 6 so we have to fix the number of bits to be borrowed ok now 2 to the power of ok something ok we have to find what is that so this is equal to 6 now so 2 to the power of 1 equal to 2 2 to the power of 2 equal to 4 2 to the power of 3 equal to 8 so you cannot have exactly 6 subnets but you can make 8 subnets so if you borrow 2 bits you can have 4 subnets but if you borrow 3 bits you can have 8 subnets you can have so in this case you have to go for the 3 bits only ok so there is no option you cannot divide this exactly into 6 you cannot so you can divide this only into 8 ok so 8 bits only sorry 8 equal subnets only you can divide so this one it is not going to be possible ok now so 3 bits we are going to borrow ok now number of bits to be borrowed to be borrowed so the number of bits to be borrowed is 3 bits we are going to borrow so once if you borrow 3 bits ok automatically your subnet mask is going to change so custom or new subnet mask ok we have to find what is our <coughs> custom or new subnet mask so we borrowed 3 bits here so first octode there is no change ok it is going to be 255 the second octode is also no change ok it is going to be 255 so here in the third octode we are going to borrow 3 bits so 1 2 3 so 3 bits we are going to borrow here so the fourth octode no change you can just keep it as it is now so here I am going to make 1 1 1 ok so because we borrowed ok to the uh, network part so your network part it is up to this and the host one this is going to be your host ok now so if you convert this into equivalent decimal number so this is going to be 220, 255.255. So this is the place values you have to take. So this is going to be 32, 64 and 128. So 128 plus 64 plus 32. Okay. So dot 0. So this is equal to. So 255 dot. 255 dot. So 128, 64. Okay. 32. I am going to add. So 8 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 4, 14. 4. Balance 1. So 6, 6 plus 3, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 224. So this is equal to 224. So 224.0. So this is your new CIDR, sorry, new, uh, the new, or new subnet mask or custom subnet mask. Now, so what is the custom CIDR? The CIDR value equal to already there were 16 bits were there, okay, in a class B, okay, it is 16 bits. So plus 3 bits we are going to borrow. So once if you borrow 3 bits, it is going to be slash 19. Okay. So this is your new CITR value. So this is the basic concepts we have to do. Now, I am going for okay, subnets. So we have to find for all the subnets. Okay, At least for the 6 subnets you have to do. I am not going to do all the subnets. I will do first uh, 3 subnets I will do. You can continue same like this. Okay. Now, so once if you borrow 3 bits. Ok, I am writing here. So, if you borrow 3 bits, what are the various, ok, the possibilities, the combinations, ok, the binary combination means, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 
zero one one. So one zero zero one zero one 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 zero one one one. So this is going to be the various possibilities. Now you can see one two three four five six seven eight eight subnets you can have. So for the first subnet, okay, this is going to be the first subnet we are going to use this. For the second subnet, third subnet, fourth subnet in the subnet ID part, okay, we have to use this. Okay, now I'm going for the first subnet. I'm going. So subnet one. Okay. So what is the subnet ID? So subnet ID means so the IP address given to us is one thirty five dot twenty. Okay. So we are going to borrow three bits here in this octet. So one, two, three. Three bits we borrowed here, and this one, okay, eight bits available. So what is the formula for the? This is going to be your host part. Okay. So this is going to be your subnet ID. And the entire thing, it is going to be your network ID. Okay, so subnet ID, network ID, and host ID, host part. So now, so what is the formula for subnet ID? Means make the host part, the entire host part should be zero. Okay, in that case, this is the first subnet, so I'm going to use zero zero zero. Okay, that is your subnet ID. So now one thirty five dot twenty dot So everything should be zero means dot zero dot zero. So this is going to be your subnet ID, but the CIDR value is nineteen. Okay, so eight plus eight plus three. So eight plus eight sixteen, seventeen eighteen nineteen. Nineteen bits are there in the network part. Then first host ID. So the first host ID is one thirty five twenty. There is no change up to the second octet. So in the third octet, we borrowed three bits. Okay, so remaining four bits available. Okay, and then here, sorry, uh, remaining five bits available, and here it is eight bits. Now, what is the formula for the first host ID? Means so you have to make the last bit in your host port. Okay, we have to make it as one. So in, if you make like this, so it is going to be one thirty five dot twenty dot zero. Okay, so this is going to be zero here, then dot one. So this is slash nineteen. This is our first host ID. Then. The last host ID. What is the last host ID means? The last host ID is so one thirty five dot twenty dot. So here already we borrowed three bits one two three. So three bits already we borrowed. Here five bits available. Then you have eight bits here. So what is the formula for the last bit? Last host ID means you have to make everything one except the last bit. So here three bits already we borrowed. Four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five bits available. So all these five bits now I'm going to make this as one, and this one will be your subnet ID will be zero. Now here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the seven bits it is going to be zero except the last bit is going to be zero. So this is the last host ID. So if you convert this into equivalent decimal number, so this is one thirty five twenty. Okay, you can take the place values here. So this is two to the power of zero, two to the power of one, two to the power of two, two to the power of three, two to the power of four. So one, two, four, eight, sixteen. So sixteen plus eight plus four plus two plus one. And here the total is going to be two fifty five. But the last bit is zero, means you are going to reduce one. So this is going to be two fifty four. So last first ID is. One thirty-five dot twenty dot so sixteen plus four twenty twenty-eight twenty-nine thirty thirty-one so this is going to be thirty-one dot two fifty-four. Now the next one is broadcast IP address so okay slash nineteen broadcast IP address we have to make everything one in the host part okay in the host part all the bits should be one so in that case one thirty-five Twenty, thirty-one, two fifty-five. Directly you can try. You no need to do any calculations here. So this is going to be your broadcast IP address. So if you take in the first subnet, so this is going to be your subnet ID. Okay, so this is your subnet ID. So the first host ID. This is the first host ID. Then your last host ID. This is the last host ID. Then. Your broadcast IP address. So this is your broadcast IP address. 
So this is for first subnet. So now I'm not going to do second subnet, third subnet. Directly I can go for the fifth subnet I'm doing. Okay, fifth subnet. So now you can see here. This is subnet one, second subnet, third subnet, fourth subnet, fifth sub subnet. So I'm going to take the fifth subnet now. So for the fifth subnet, what is the subnet ID? What is the first host ID? What is the last host ID? What is the broadcast IP address? Okay, we are going to do the do it for the fifth subnet. Okay, now I'm going for the fifth subnet. So the given IP address it is one thirty five. 20 0 0 so we are going for subnet 5 so the fifth subnet we are going so what is the subnet id means the subnet id is going to be 100 0, 0. okay this is the subnet id okay now i'm take i'm going for the subnet id now 135 20 so in the third octet we borrowed three bits so 1 2 3 so 3 bits we borrowed so the remaining 5 bits is available the next one is a 8 bits okay now i'm going to place this value now here so this is going to be your subnet id and the entire thing it is going to be your network id network port and this is going to be your host now to find the subnet id what is the formula means the entire host port should be zero so you can just make everything is zero that is going to be your subnet id so here in this case subnet id is 135.20. so this is the place value you have to take okay so the place value for this is 128 obviously it is 128 is a place value dot zero okay slash okay the cidr value is 90 so this is the subnet id now first host id first host id so the formula here you have to make everything zero the last bit should be one so in that case 135 20 128 so here it is going to be one okay the last bit is going to be one so one is going to be here this is the first host id then i'm going for the last host id so the last host id is 135 20 so here we have okay 128 is there but what is the formula for the last host id means you have to make everything one here and also in the last octet everything should be one except the last bit okay so if you want i'll, I'll do it here now so first three bits okay it is going to be one zero zero and then five bits we have here one two three four so one two three four five bits are there and here we have eight bits so 135 dot 20 dot so we have to make everything one okay everything one the same thing one two three four five six seven all the seven bits it is going to be one the last bit is going to be zero so you can convert this into equivalent uh, decimal value so place values this is one two four eight sixteen so one two four eight sixteen already we added in the previous slide okay that means the previous page so this is going to be 31 but anyway i'll write it here so 1 2 3 4 sorry 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 that means 128 plus okay so i'll write it here better 1 2 4 8 this is 16 32 64 128 so 128 i included so 128 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 okay this is so the last octet okay the decimal value here it is going to be 254 okay because only one we are going to reduce it is going to be 254 so this is equal to 135.20 dot dot. so we have to add everything so already 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 1 we already added this in the previous one okay this is going to be 31 so 128 plus 31 so this is 8 plus 1 9 5 1 so 159 so 159 dot 254 so this is going to be our last host ip address then so broadcast ip address you can make everything one okay including the last part so this is going to be 135 dot 20 dot 159 dot 
255/19 so this is going to be your broadcast ip address so for the fifth subnet so the subnet id is this so this is the first host id okay the last host id so this is going to be your last host id then broadcast ip address so this is your broadcast ip address so like this you can proceed for all the subnets you can find